Hello everyone, this is Maria again, the Unexpected Crafter, and I'm finishing up part two of the video I started yesterday, coloring this super cute uh, teddy bear uh, from Sasayaki Glitter Stamps. So I'm gonna now continue coloring the cap and the clothes a little bit there and the ball and the bat as well. So let's, I decided to go ahead and do some reds. So I'm gonna start with R. Two four, and actually, I'm gonna do the cap blue and red. So I'm gonna use the same ones I used before, which were B zero zero, B zero two, and B zero five. And then I'm gonna do this part here red. So let's con let's go ahead and do the cap blue. And I'm just going to make it again. I'm trying to keep this coloring simple. And I guess I'm just going to color the whole thing just to saturate the whole top there with the B00. Then I'm going to go with B02. And I'm just gonna do some shading. Let's see, how do I want my shading? Just add this for a little bit of contrast. I guess I'm gonna leave this metal here light. Didn't really plan out how I was gonna color this, so we'll see how it goes. And maybe the corner here too, since it's kinda hidden in this. And okay. I'm going to go with my darkest blue, B05, and I'm going to make this here dark, and this one here as well. And I think I'm going to play around with this here to see how this comes out. Like I said, I didn't really plan how I was going to color the cap, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. And then I'm going to continue to pull the dark color with the second lightest. Trying to leave that highlight there in the middle. That line there looks a little crooked, but let's see. Then I'm going to go here side by side. See how that goes. Being careful not to pull too much color. And you know, sometimes I start coloring and then I don't like how it comes I don't like how it came out and then I just keep adding color to it until I'm happy with it. And I like this lighter color sometimes if I put too much dark I just go over it with the lightest one and then it sort of fixes where I put too much of the dark color like here I'm not too crazy about how I, it looks fine here I can probably take a little bit of here I hope you can see that how with this I'm sort of erasing some of the dark color I have there that I don't like and then I can always go back and put some more and then fix it a bit sort of the way I want it. And then 
here. I'm going to add some dark here again. And then here. And then pull that out to the center some. Make it more even. And then here, just put a little dark there. Let's see, I'm trying to follow the shape of the cap. Then we go with the B02. I was just using B05, and I am using B02. Just kind of I think that's taking a little better shape there. Okay, I think that's looking a little better. And then gently with this one because this one tends to take some of the color away that I already put in. So I'm being and I think I need to refill this B00 soon. So, let's see. Maybe I can just do it like this. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. It adds kind of a sheen to it. And now this part here, I'm going to color it red. So this part here, the under part is usually darker, but this part here that's sticking out, you don't want it to be too dark. So this part here is going to be my lightest. And I'm also going to Do that there red and the number I will also do red in just a minute then I'm gonna go with my next I started with R24 now I'm doing R27 and I'm gonna start from here it's not much of a difference slight difference between those two colors and I'm R21 is the next one I'm using I'm gonna turn this because you have to be so careful with red I'm going to add some brown to it, E09, to add even more depth to this part here. I hope you can tell the difference there. It's going to make it darker. Then back to R29. Go over that brown a little and pull it out. back to R27. And then to finish it up with R24. I would use my R22 but I am it's dry so I cannot use R22 a little hair there. Let's see how that looks. Yep, that looks pretty good, I think. Then I'm going to go over that three. I'm going to have to get really close to it so I can see well. 
She's so tiny. Let's see if I can get close enough. I'm going to have to do that one later because I have to get really close to that. Uh, but I'm going to do, I'm going to use red on the bat because I have a lot of blue, not enough red. So I'm going to use some red on this bat. Looks so cute. I'm going to jump to R29 and just add a little bit of it. And I think I'm going to leave the bat alone for now. Then the ball. Uh, balls are usually white, so some of them anyway. So I'm just going to add a little bit of gray. I'm using T0. Just to add a little bit of shading because it's kind of sort of behind them so like that T2 just adding a little bit of shading then I'm gonna pull that make it a little lighter oops And then I'm going to go with zero, the colorless blender, and I'm going to just lighten this up a little bit so it doesn't look too gray. And that's about what I'm going to do to this teddy bear. This area here, I guess I can also do it, I um, wonder if I should do it pink. A pink nose so I could go back with R11 and R12 just like I did on the bottom of his feet let's see oh over here so R11 let's go ahead and do that for his cute little mouth let's see And I'm going to use R12 and just to add a little bit of something something and that is all I'm going to do to that um, I guess I could make, I wasn't thinking about what I was going to do to the bottom, but I guess I could do some grass or, or I could just make it green because it's sitting on the grass. So I'm going to use G12 or G12. Let me see first because I think my G12 is a little dry. Let me use a different one. So my YG11, I need to order some Copics. They are getting a little dry on me. Let's go with YG03. Let's see. What we could do is just, just kind of do a little shading here on the bottom. Like he's sitting on the grass. And then I'm going to go with YG06 just a little darker so that the area that he's sitting on is just a little darker because he's creating a shadow with his body and then the darkest I have on the YG's is YG09 
Okay, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to YG06 and I'm gonna pull some of this dark color out. And then back to my YG03, which is my lightest. And just to finish it off. That's it, that's my little bear. I hope you like my coloring today. I'm gonna be posting this, uh, all the colors I used on this part two video on my YouTube channel and uh, I'm gonna link it to the part one where I started coloring it yesterday. I hope you like the coloring and if you wanna uh, please like my video and um, follow me on YouTube. I'm gonna be uploading more videos and if you have any comments, please feel free to Leave me a comment and I'll get back to you if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.